Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Monster bringing you guys another video guys in today's video We're gonna be giving you guys the best tips that I have for you guys to help you get some more victory royales Or be a better player in Fortnite on console you guys I know a lot of people out there love watching PC players They love watching them because they can build fast and do all these secret techniques and stuff like that So in today's video, that's exactly what we're gonna cover but on console We're gonna try to get you guys as close as possible to being a PC star on console you guys It's gonna be a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoy the video and that being said Said, can we try to get 350 likes on this video? I know you guys can do it. It'll be awesome, but let's get into the video. So starting off, the first thing that I want to cover are these new moon rocks, you guys. Basically, these little crystals that you see all over the map in certain locations wherever the craters hit. These things are zero gravity rocks. When you take it, you consume it. It takes 30 seconds for it to wear off. Now, these things are amazing because it's zero gravity. Look how high you can jump. You literally take zero fall damage at all. But this is a completely different play style than what you're used to. As you guys can see, I'm always taking a new rock whenever I'm about to get into a fight because I know that I need to be the last one to be having the longest jump. This guy, he's not jumping around so instead of just running up to him with my shotgun I'm just gonna sit there and just beam him with my assault rifle you guys a lot of people they make the mistake whenever they take these rocks they think that they have to fight every single fight in the air they think that they have to connect every single shot by being in the air but this is not true you guys how you can actually win a lot of these gunfights is taking your time and actually shooting when you hit the ground you guys like if you guys watch the gameplay you're gonna see 70 to 75 percent of the shots that I take are usually on the ground now the other few percent of the shots that I take yes they are in the air but I like to call those the luck shot you guys because sometimes you're not really gonna hit it you're not really too focused on hitting it because it can be a little bit harder to hit those shots because not just only are you in the air flying around they're in the air flying around so you got to look up down left right it's it's a lot harder than just looking left and right and aiming you guys so these shots are a lot harder when you're in the air I suggest you still take the shot don't not take the shot when you're in the air it is more important to take the shot when you're on the floor you guys you guys are gonna see me on the floor like this last kill right here this guy coming up here in a few seconds I don't even jump he's not looking at me there's no reason for me to jump I can control my shot a lot better when I'm not in the air so I figured you know what let me just shoot him from the ground a lot of people make that mistake they think that they have to be jumping and stuff like that you don't have to be doing that you guys you can literally take your time land and then take your shots but that's basically the tips that I have for you guys for now on these jump rocks if you guys want a full exclusive video specifically on these jump rock gunfights let me know down in the comments below give this video a thumbs up if we can hit like a thousand likes on this video then I know that that's what you guys want so I'll end up bringing you guys a video probably later this week talking about the new moon rocks and how to be better with it because there's also more advanced techniques not just is there gunfights where you're just doing that but when it comes to building and having the moon rock at the same time there's techniques that you guys can actually use that help you out a lot as you guys see in the background right now I have the jump rock and this other person does not so I'm gonna show you guys the best technique I literally get above him and not just do I get above him but I jump over right on top of him so he doesn't even expect it. Like if you did not have this jump rock, there's no way you were going to be able to do stuff like that. So again, if you guys want to see stuff like that in the future, give this video a thumbs up. I can give you guys the best tips and tricks when it comes to building and all types of different gunfights when it comes to the jump rocks. These are also good for getting across the map extremely fast. So there's people on the outside of Dusty Divot shooting at us from the top side and we take some of these little space rocks and instantly get to them. It's, it's okay to build up and use this as protection and get to them as quick as possible because if they shoot it down, you're going to take zero fall damage. So it's not going to hurt you at all and that's one thing that I really like about these and as you guys can see in rave pushed up and they're all focusing in rave that gives me a perfect chance to shoot them from behind and then once they knock in rave that's when things get real that's when they start focusing me I see that they're doing damage to me so instantly the first reaction I have is I have to build if I don't get cover right now they're gonna actually kill me and knock me so I'm literally focused on playing this game as a normal build off guys and after you lose your jump rocks and stuff like that you can't rely on that as a source to help out you literally got to go back to the basic skills that you've learned playing this game which is building you got a sound horror build try your best to do that and with that being said that's bringing us to our next topic about building fights you guys I have a special clip for you because a lot of people have been asking about this what happens when you're building off someone and they cut you off just like this right here instantly you can either try to counter and build but if you're getting shot at and they really have the upper ground on you and there's nothing you can do and they're above you looking down at you and there's 
nothing you could do to build to get out of there. Try your best to just run away. It's okay to avoid the fight, avoid the build off fight, and not try to run up there and try to see if you can outbuild them because sometimes they do get there quicker than you. So there's nothing you can do about it. So in a situation like that, you need to get to the bottom of the place, reset, regroup, get your focus together. Because I know when you're in the fights like that that are intense, your nerves are going. So you got to reset, focus, chill out a little bit, and then find a route to take. Let your teammates shoot at them, give them cover fire, so that way they can get distracted by your teammates that are shooting at them. Give the call out to them that you need help, and they can help you out. And then once you do that, literally go back up there and start fighting again. Once they're distracted by your teammates, that's your chance to actually push up. And as you guys can see, I now have high ground on this person because my teammates were shooting at him. He stopped focusing me. He started focusing my teammates. So it gave me the chance to get up there. Now, yes, my teammates did end up going down. So when this does happen, you have to come out clutch, you guys. Of course, if you if your teammates go down because they're trying to help you out and they die, you got to do everything you can to try to kill them as fast as possible and save them. This other dude started rushing me just as quick as that last guy. So now it's a build off. It's literally whoever gets the most high ground advantage is probably going to end up winning this fight. That's exactly what you want to do is you want to try to stay above the other person. Don't ever try to get eye level with them. Stay above them. So at that point you're looking down at them. It's okay to look down at them and then try to see where they're coming from because you can see exactly what side of the ramp they're building up because you can see these little blue ramps not fully built yet. You can see them ending up buildings. So when you see it not fully built yet, you know that they're coming from that side. Also, you also have sound horn on your side where you can hear them and then they're not really going to be looking up. You have a third person peek on them. So they're not going to see you looking down at them. And it's perfect, man. You're going to have a perfect chance to actually take your shot on them from above while they're trying to rush you. So that's the easiest way to actually kill somebody in a build off like that. You need to use your teammate in situations like this. If there's two people looking at you and you see their building, that's the perfect opportunity to start pushing. Have your teammate give you cover fire. Make sure you're building two, two walls or two set of stairs and two walls. So that way it fortifies your base even more and they're not going to knock you down. So as you can see, this guy was shooting at my teammate and I saw it. I saw he was shooting at my teammate. I knew he was going to peek eventually. The second he peeked, I, I took my sni sniper shot. I, I literally took it. I got the kill and that's exactly what you need to do. You have to have trust and confidence in your shot. Let your teammate go one way. You go the opposite way. So that way they're not looking only in one direction that you got them split up. You got them looking two completely different directions. So that way when you have them split up like that, it's a perfect chance to actually kill them because they're distracted. So when they're distracted, that is your chance to kill them. Now we have this last situation right here where it's a 1v1 situation. I'm always building up, always getting high ground on the person. And then this time I decide, you know what? I heard him healing. Let me come down here and actually try and shoot him like this. Comes down to a shotgun fight. And this is where shotgun fights really matter, you guys. If you want shotgun tips and tricks, the best one I can give you for now is work on your sensitivity. But I have a more in-depth video talking about your shotgun tips in the link in the description below. So if you guys need help on your shotgun shots, make sure to watch that video. Now, speaking on relying on your teammates, if a team is shooting at your team from a certain direction and your, your teammates have enough mats, let your teammates just keep building constantly keep building so that way they don't die while you and your friend flank flanking is huge in this game man i mean as you guys can see i flanked this team and there's nothing they can do about it because they did not expect it from happening they're, they're literally so focused on trying to get the kills in front of them that a lot of people end up forgetting about the kills behind them so that's exactly what me and rave did we ended up flanking this team and we perfectly got the team eliminated i mean there was nothing we could do from one mountain to the other mountain so what we did was me and rave jumped down the mountain we ran all the way around while our our teammates just kept building they kept distracting them kept building so that way they would not look down or look anywhere else but where they were supposed to be looking and a lot of people make that mistake and they forget they forget about people coming up from behind them they don't even pay attention to it but when you do flank you want to make sure that you be quiet and you flank from high ground the second you get there you can't just sit there and wait for them to peek you got to react quick the second you flank the, per the people you need to be ready to build as quick as you possible and get in the gunfight as quick as possible because there's no time to sit there and just wait wait for them to peek or anything like that it's got to be happening quick Another amazing tip is when you flank somebody and they're not looking, they're distracted by another team. That is a perfect opportunity to take your sniper, take your time, and try to take, do a one-shot kill on them. Because once you do a sniper shot and you knock them instantly, they're automatically just going to go down. If you try to shoot them with your AR, you're going to put a few bullets into them and they're going to start building behind them and cover themselves and then you got to get aggressive. So it's going to be a lot harder to do it like that. So I suggest that if you can, try to get a sniper shot on the people so that way you can knock one instantly and then pull out your AR and start shooting them from behind but the second that happens you got to be ready to get aggressive this takes a lot of 
teamwork skill because if your team's pushing up with you from behind and th they're just going to be ballsy and just start shooting right away, you have to let them know, like, hey, team, guys, I'm literally, let me take my sniper shot before you guys do this. Let me take the first shot or everyone take your sniper shot and then let me know when you guys are ready. Okay, one, two, three, shoot, and then we all shoot or something like that. Make sure you're actually talking with your teammates if you're playing squads or anything like that and solos and stuff like that. We have more tips for solos coming on the channel soon, so stay tuned for that, you guys. But with that being said, I need you guys to feedback down in the comment section below and please give this video a thumbs up to show some love and support on the channel we're going to be keep doing a lot more tips and tricks videos for you guys so the more love you guys show the more i know that you guys actually like these videos now would you guys rather prefer me categorizing my tips and tricks videos on a specific tip like building or shotgun fights or ar shots or would you like it to be something like this where we cover a whole bunch of different things in one video again let me know down in the comment section below what is your favorite tips and tricks video type again Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. See you guys in the live stream later tonight. If you don't have a Season 4 Battle Pass, stay tuned. You can actually get it for free. You got to come to the live stream over at twitch.tv slash exoticmotion.